Okay, so there's just a couple of things that I wanted to get out of the way before I started. Uh, first off, I'm doing this video a little bit differently than I normally would. Um, instead of filming at the foot of my bed, I will instead be just recording my audio in iMovie over a picture. Also, if you're wondering why I sound a little bit weird, it's because I'm sick. If you hear any random cuts, then it's most likely because I had to sneeze, cough, or blow my nose. I uh, just wanted to get that all out of the way, so now let's get into the video. Roll the intro. Pew, pew, pew we go. Hey guys, it's PK Mario here. Um, and today I'm going to be discussing a topic that isn't exactly new, but I figured I should just throw my hat into the ring anyway. Mother 3 is a game that was released for the Game Boy Advance back in 2006. In Japan only. Uh, most of us didn't actually know that the game existed until Lucas's inclusion in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Ever since then, people have been requesting an English release here in North America. But now, 12 years later, we still haven't gotten the game. At least not officially. We have gotten a fan translation uh, in the form of both a ROM that you can download an, on an emulator, as well as a fan translation cartridge, of which I have a black copy there are also transparent red copies. But even now, there are still people who want an official localization, because they want to support Shigesato Itoi. They want to support his team. Personally, I think it should be localized, but only because I want to be able to say that all three games have an official release in North America. But really, that's probably the only reason why I want it to receive an official North American release. If you want my opinion on Mother 3, it's a fine game. It's nowhere near as good as what people will lead you to believe it is. It's just decent. But really though, that's just my opinion. If you like the game, if you think it's the greatest game ever made, that's fine. I don't care. Just don't attack people who disagree with you. You're making Mother fans look bad if that's what you're doing. Like, if someone says Undertale is better than Mother 3, then just say, cool, okay, that's your opinion. Maybe explain why you think Mother 3 is superior. Just don't try to force your opinions on them. Uh, don't make a fool of yourself. That's really all I ask. Of course, though, there are some people that don't think Mother 3 should be localized. And okay, uh, you do have the right to freedom of speech. I personally don't care. Uh, your opinion is fine. Uh, but here, I'm just going to go over why I disagree with some of the points that are being made. So, let's get into it. Why pay for something when it has already been given to you for free, some people might ask. And to be fair, that is a pretty good point. It's already been given to you for free, so why pay for it? Well, like I said before, uh, some people really like Mother 3. They want to support the developers. Uh, they want to just support anyone who was involved in the game. And you know, that's fair as well. I'd hate to sound like that one guy, but the, the developers have families just like we do. And they need money so that way they can get food and clothing for said families. Yo, it's, to rock around, to rock around. it's no secret that the Mother series isn't exactly a profitable franchise for Nintendo. Especially in comparison to Mario, Zelda, or Pokemon. Furthermore, it cost the fan translation team around $30,000 to translate around a thousand pages of text. So, it's not exactly cheap to translate a game like Mother 3 into English. At least, not as cheap as it would be to translate a game with as little dialogue as, say, Mario into English. However, people have been asking for the game for around a decade now, so it's clear that there's a demand for it, and that Nintendo would probably make up for their expenses, and then some. 
Furthermore, assuming that it would be released digitally, they wouldn't really have to worry about the cost of materials. There's clearly profit that could be made off of Mother 3, so I don't think it would be a waste of money for Nintendo to release it here. Go! Go, Johnny, go! Here's an argument I hear quite a bit. Nintendo will ruin the game by censoring it in order to keep a family-friendly image. Let me just make one thing perfectly clear, though. This is not the early 1990s, okay? Nintendo doesn't censor games like they did back then. Sure, their most popular games are kid-friendly, but that doesn't mean that all of their games are kid-friendly. They have put out several T14 games, including, but not limited to, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Metroid Prime, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and Melee, and of course, the other two Mother games. Not to mention all of the E10 Plus games that they've put out, including both WarioWare Smooth Moves and Mario Strikers Charged. But what if the game gets an M for Mature rating? Nintendo doesn't put out M for Mature rated games. And to that I say, you are wrong. They have put out one first-party M for Mature rated game. It was Eternal Darkness for the Nintendo GameCube, which came out in 2002. Now before you say it, yes, I am aware that Nintendo themselves technically did not make the game, they just published it. But even then they would have still had to approve of an M for Mature rated game, which they did, so yeah, Nintendo isn't just a kid-friendly company that makes child-friendly games. Furthermore, have you actually noticed something about the people who want Mother 3, more specifically their age? Well, of course you can't answer me because this is a pre-recorded video, so I will do the answering anyway. It's just teenagers and young adults. People that would more than likely be mature enough to play Mother 3. Most seven-year-olds don't really care about the Mother series. All they care about is Minecraft, Call of Duty, Fortnite, and Roblox. I've only really spoken to a couple of people that have played the Mother series before the age of 10, and even then they were really bad at the game, so they couldn't really get far enough to see anything that was too mature for them. The main demographic is, and most certainly will always be, teenagers and young adults. I don't imagine in the future a whole bunch of really young kids will be getting into the Mother series like some of them might be getting into Undertale. So it would be a waste of money for Nintendo to make unnecessary censorships to a game that quite frankly, doesn't need to be censored for its audience. This argument I can see a bit more than the others. In case you've never played Mother 3 before, there are these characters known as the Magipsies. Essentially, they're genderless fairy people. And because they are genderless, that means that there will most likely be issues on both sides of the political spectrum, especially in today's politically correct climate. I could easily see some irrational right-wingers saying, Oh, Nintendo's just trying to brainwash the kids into thinking this stuff is normal. We need to, we need to boycott Mother 3. I could also see irrational left-wingers saying, Oh, nice try, Nintendo. We know that you're just putting in token genderless characters to try and appease us. Yeah, we're not falling for your crap, Nintendo. Nice try. I could also see them overreacting, saying that they didn't portray genderless people the right way. So as you could tell, there would be idiots on both sides of the political spectrum that could potentially have something to complain about when it comes to Mother 3. And you know Nintendo, they don't like to get involved in any sort of political controversy. But then of course you have people who are a part of the Mother fan base who don't really mind the Magipsies all that much, which includes people who are a part of the LGBT community. 
But if Nintendo really just wants to avoid political controversy altogether, just make them either one gender or the other. Make them men or women. They don't necessarily have to be genderless. It really wouldn't change the game all that much in the long run. I mean, it's not like them being genderless is super important to the plot, and it's not like it really affects the gameplay or anything. It's just a tiny detail that most people who would probably play the game for the first time wouldn't even notice. I want a new drug. In conclusion, uh, the issues that are holding Mother 3 back from being localized, uh, if there really is that many big issues, uh, wouldn't really be that hard to solve. At most, I could see them changing a few different sprites, and even then that wouldn't really do much to affect the game. I mean, I don't really think too highly of it. Like I said before, I think it's decent at best. And the only reason why I really want it here is so that way we can say that we have all three games. But I'd like to hear what you think. Do you think that Nintendo will release Mother 3 at some point? Do you think that they will have to make a few small changes? Tell me what you think. I'd like to hear it. Just be civil in the comments, that's all I ask. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, like and subscribe. I'll see you all, I will see you all later. Bye. The beast calls your name, but you do not answer. You fear the truth. You fear true salvation. It is your time, dear viewer. God has come to reap the sinners. Step into the light and cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself of what you have seen. There is still time. Escape. But it comes with a price. Your soul, your dignity, your being. Buy a bag of peanuts now before you... <laughs>